All right, what's up, YouTube? This is Murphy coming back again uh, with a new episode of this video. I know I've been missing for quite a while, maybe a month. I've just been really sick in the past few weeks, and there's something going on with my work, so I just need some time to figure my shit out. And uh, since I'm back, this new video, I'm gonna show you guys just a few items picked up like last month. It's not a lot, it's just probably like just three items. And I really, I really do enjoy this, and hope you like, hope you guys like it as well. So, um, and so the first item I can show you guys the pack first. So, yep, it's uh, from Kiko Kostadinov. So, I've been actually looking for this bag, but not the same colorway. I'm looking for the gray one for quite a while. It just I was trying to wait it on sale because the price is kind of like outrageous I mean for a simple bag and um, so luckily they did a project I think I don't know like kind of like a something like one off they, they limited release 15 uh, cut bag uh, this has this two-tone colorway on their website I think uh, in the middle of May I saw the I saw the post on the brand Instagram story, and the next day I was lucky enough to grab one. So different from the black one and the gray one, this one actually used the you know obviously it's two tone. So this side is this like saffron. It's called saffron material. I think it's just like a check flannel thing. It's a, but it's more heavy duty, which is like a purple and yellow color and the other side is just a simple plain sitting bag so the reason I I was looking for this bag for a long time because I just really love the shape and the silhouette of this bag and since you can wear it as a sling bag or like a backpack because you can separate this band as both and uh, interesting fun fact because this is a really confusing thing on how to tie up that sling I literally made this like instruction note to, to show you hey how to make a circle and tie it up because I was really I was confused as fuck when I when I just received this because it looks like this it just literally looked like a bag and with a super super long sling but it's attached to the bottom of the bag so you cannot wear this just with, with, without tying the knot so after reading that for a, quite a few time I, I, now I know how to do that so pretty much what you do is like you make a circle from the from this two sling and you put this circle on the top of the on the top of the bag and then using using this two button kind of like hold hold this circle on top of it right, here it goes so so every time if you want to open the bag you actually need to Start from the knot or the circle you made, pull it, and then you got enough room to you know to pull stuff in and and remove stuff out. And another thing is very very useful is like if you just if you're trying to you know put this bag on, you just pull the sling, and at the same time it's kind of like a tied up the opening. So you can just you know put the bag on very quickly, very quick and easy. And uh, definitely this design and the silhouette, the shape is definitely draws most attention to me. So that's why I, I picked this up. I'm not a huge fan of this color because I still do prefer the gray one better. But the gray one is just never go on sale. It's, I think last time I checked, at least that at least it had like six hundred and fifty dollars on garbage, which is it's just too much for you know for for a bag. And uh, in front there's like a set pocket. I think just a simple zipper. And uh, yeah, and another thing is like 
this uh, stitching or like this like patterned stitching in the front in one of the one of the things. So this is goes back to the you know the I think the whole screen summer night inflection. I think they have the same name, it's called the Cotch Jacket, which has a similar pattern around the jacket. I can pick, put a picture here. So, alright. And uh, that's item number one. And let's move on. So, item number two is pair of shoes. And actually, I, I didn't bought this one first. I do saw one of my friends bought this one, not the exact same colorway on Instagram. So this is, uh, this is from my, I think it's a very recent or very new shoe brand called Article Number. At least for me, I, I, I never heard of them before. I know they've been doing like uh, footwear for a while probably. And so, um, I think the model of this pair is just uh, called 1007. So interesting to use the code name. And the whole shoe you can think of, uh, it's just the Converse All Star Low, but with some more exaggerated also. And um, also a larger toe cap. But the most. Uh, the interesting part I saw is the patching they did here. This reminds me of the you know the undercover scab collection. I don't know if this is related, but I hope not. And uh, it's just a very simple, clean colorway. And this one's kind of like the earthy tone, the earth tone, which featuring the beige, olive, and green color. And the two featuring very thick, I think the EVA sole, and definitely much more comfortable than, than the regular Converse I had, so. I mean, overall, I'm not a huge guy on Converse, or like the Converse look like, but this one definitely caught my attention here. And I think the price is, uh, I mean, it's uh, reasonable. This one is, I think, $130. And since it said like handcrafted, I think it's well deserved. And last one here. Yep, you probably already saw it all over the internet because I didn't get this one on the job day. I did pay resale, unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, the reason I still paid resale because I saw I just saw you guys or like saw other people's review on this one yeah the quality of the leather is just insane I mean I saw a lot of shoes but definitely this full green leather is just definitely on another level and I would say it's, uh, this is such huge or like, this is a great execution on both sides and I'm really happy or I'm really satisfying like what they accomplished on this shoe so and I think the price is I think uh, to me I really think the price is okay like comparing to how hyped the John stuff recently is so if you're looking for a pair I would still suggest you go for it even though he said himself that you can just draw John on a regular pair of Capsi because regular pair of Capsi don't have this quality. I mean, this probably won't be my shoe of the year, but definitely my top three, I would say. Alright, thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoy the content. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.